Here's the bad news about Atticus. You can't stagger him and he has 9 million HP. This fight is a 20 minute marathon, so be prepared. We recommend Lightning and Fang for their strength and hope for his magic with these paradigms. For haste and protect, as well as some status ailments you can cast on Atticus, Bully should be your active paradigm. Solidarity will be your most useful paradigm to counter his charge moves. Relentless Assault and Tireless Charge are the best ways of doing damage. This video is done with the following stats and equipment. When the battle begins, let Fang and Hope cast as many ailments and enhancements as you can get away with. The best ailments are D-Protect, D-Shell, and Slow. You have the time to cast these in the beginning, so make the most of it. Bravery and Faith on Lightning will also reduce the amount of time you spend in this fight. Switch to Solidarity to heal if you need, and then go back to Bully until you have all of these in place. You'll also have time to use Relentless Assault to raise the chain gauge as high as you can and clear the first phase of the battle as quickly as possible. Before you take off a quarter of his life or so, there's not anything special about this battle. Just reapply his ailments and your enhancements when they disappear. Once Atticus loses about a fourth of his life, his sword will break and he'll pull out another. Switch to Solidarity and make sure you have Protect on Fang because Atticus will use his charge move, Concentrate. Like Vladislaus before him, this will remove your status enhancements. Switch to Bully to renew them and then back to Solidarity to heal if you need to. Go through a few rounds of Relentless Assault to keep working on his health and then return to Solidarity to anticipate his next charge move. He attacks five times regularly and then uses Concentrate. Use this pattern to predict his moves. Switching to Solidarity once Concentrate is initiated will not redirect the attack. With Protect, the other people in the party can easily survive Concentrate, so don't worry too much if you miss a couple. Once you get him down to half-life, his blade will break again and he'll get a new one. Switch to Solidarity to anticipate his new charge move, Meditate. You should use the same basic strategy, but will be a lot harder from here on out. Meditate comes every 5 moves still, and there will be a short pause before it. If it's not directed at Fang, or Fang doesn't have Protect, the target will probably die. This will also remove several status enhancements, so have a few as a buffer if you can. Keeping up your enhancements and health is the hardest part of this fight. You'll be switching paradigms almost constantly. However, the chain gauge should be up past 300% by now, so the last half of the fight should go a little more quickly. There are some brief moments at this point that you'll be in good shape and you can cautiously switch to Relentless Assault to speed things up a little or to Tireless Charge to really work on the life bar. You can also do this near the end of the battle to speed up the ending. The stronger you are, the faster this battle will go, but with these stats, you should be able to finish it in under 20 minutes. Congratulations, you've now completed the Titans Trials.